Hi, hello, good evening, my dear students. This is Sundar Rabindranathan here. How is everybody doing? Hope all of you are doing awesome. Wonderful to meet all of you, all right, uh, in this workshop where I'm going to share five master secrets to memorize anything, all right. So, uh, before we go ahead, as always, I would like to quickly check is everyone able to see me and hear me? Can you please type on your chat? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Great. Uh, <clears throat> my dear students, as always, what I will do is let me move uh, to the workshop. I'm going to make it very crisp and fast this time. So be on your toes and uh, you know, get benefited. Ready? Okay. As, as always, I will start with a very quick introduction of mine. Right, my name is Sundar Rabindranathan and uh, I have been a transformation coach, a memory expert and a learning strategist as you would see. Alright, uh, for almost two decades now, more than two decades in fact. Yes, I had the privilege of interacting, training, mentoring thousands of teachers as well as students over the last 22 years or so. All right, so I really enjoy, love the interaction that I have with these kids. And more importantly, you know what? I love learning from all of you because I learn a lot. And so every ping that you make really enlightens, that helps me learn, I work on, you know, more and more techniques to help you guys, right? So with that note, uh, yeah. So I also, you know, uh, formulated the famous Memory Masters course at Vedantu and I am a CENTA certified professional. Uh, CENTA is a teacher accreditation organization. All right, so it's their job is to identify people for their professional uh, competencies and certify them. That's it about me. Let's move on, my dear students. Now, quickly, good evening, good evening, Maha. Good evening, everyone. So which grades are you guys from? Can you help me with that? Which grades do you belong to? Quickly guys, quickly, quickly, we don't have much time. <sighs> Tenth, okay. Eighth. Soma, how is it? Class six as well as eight. Class seven, eight, eight, nine to 10. Okay. Nikhil, it is already live. Here I am. All right. Oh, okay, so on. Thank you. Your sisters. Okay. Seventh, sixth, ninth, and tenth, eighth. Great, my dear student. Thank you so much. Palwinder, you are from class three. So cute. Huh. So sweet. Standing. All right. So please ensure that you are in touch with me by WhatsApp. I will help you out with certain tricks for a you know class three great hirendra hi oh, first time no no okay all right perfect okay yogendra has already attended okay fine the reason why i wanted to check this my dear students is in case you have already attended you will find a few things getting repeated okay because it is very essential that the new students also get benefited. So that I cannot avoid repeating them. Clear? Right. Let's move on. Now, this is very important. Why do you want to learn memory techniques? You are here for a purpose, for a reason, right? Why do you guys want to learn memory techniques? You can say something like, sir, I really want to uh, study better. Or you can say something like, sir, I have my memory is not that good. Or you can say, no, sir, it's like magic. I want to do it in my, you know, excellent guys, excellent. Score more, Rudra, okay. Learn fast, not to forget. Thank you, excellent. Now, the next question is a bit different, but very important. Okay. Bahubali, Gully Boy. Investigation films, okay. The category, right? Wonder, right? Thank you so much, my dear students. 
Now my next question is this. If I ask you guys to tell me the entire story, scene by scene, you would be able to do it? Conjuring, that's scaring. <laughs> scene by scene, if I ask you guys to tell me the story of these movies, I'm sure you would be able to do it, right? Everyone is saying yes, 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 yes. Excellent. Antara, all right, not, not a problem, that's okay. Perfect. Now, oh, okay, for people, right, who say no, that's okay, no problem. But most of you, in fact, almost all of you are saying yes. Now I have a next question, be ready. You have only 10 seconds time. You guys are ready? The question is this. What did you have for lunch on Saturday? Today is what? Tuesday. Two days ago, what did you have for lunch? Your time starts now. Only 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. I have seen some 4 or 5 people responding. Okay. Many of you didn't respond. Kanchan is saying, I don't remember. AJ Fitness. I forget, sir. Now the point is this. The point that I am making is this. Two and a half hour movie you are able to remember. But you are not able to remember something, some meal that you had just probably two days ago. Yeah? Nikhil is saying, say, I always forget. Yeah? So the point is this. If we are able to understand, why are we able to remember the movie so beautifully? It's such a lengthy movie. Then you can crack any memory technique. You will understand the formula behind memory techniques. Alright. So that is what I'm going to share with you now. Here we go. So, for you to understand how, why, uh, why are remembering movies so, so effective? You need to understand how information gets stored in brain. <clears throat> Dear students, you have something to remember. Right? You have something to remember and brain, you know how it stores it? Whatever you want to remember, it stores in three forms. This is our brain. It stores in three different forms. The first form, what is this? What is the first form? My dear students, what is the first form? Yeah, Hirendra, photos. Yes, the brain stores information in the form of visuals, images, as you call it. Remember this, very important. Then, any information we are storing, brain also stores in the form of what? What is this? This is not a phone. Sound. Most of you are typing so beautifully. Sound. Brain also stores information in the form of sounds. When you call a person, you remember so many names, right? When you call a person by name, what is it? Name is nothing but a sound. It's a syllable. It's a combination of syllables. Sounds. Then the third form. What is the third form? What do you see there? Yeah, hello, Lata, hi. Right? <clears throat> so the moment we know this, what should we be doing? The moment you know this, what you should do is, please, you should start learning techniques which will help you convert anything that you want to remember. It is a feeling. Now the point is this, say you had, you have a very, very happy day. Will you forget it? You will never forget. That's the power of emotion, the impact that emotions have on brain. <clears throat> Similarly, you had a very sad day. Again, you will never forget it. You got it? So these are the three forms. The trick, my dear students, is this. What is the trick? The trick is whatever you want to remember, please ensure you convert that information into your photographic memory by making it visual. Maha, when we go and see the techniques, you will understand what I mean by this. Anything you want to remember, please make it visual. You will, it will get stored in your photographic memory 
and you will not forget it that easily. But how to do it is what I'm going to share with you. The techniques is all about how to do this. And this is not that alone. Apart from this, that's not all. There is one more thing. <clears throat> Apart from making it visual, any information you want, you can also create a story out of it. When you create a story out of it, it is not just visual. It is sounds, feelings and visuals. You understand? Antara, even text can be converted. I will show you how. Clear? <clears throat> right. So that means two things, guys. Two takeaways. Anything you want to remember, please convert into visual and try to create a story out of it. How to do this is what I'm going to share with you through these techniques. Clear? Right. <clears throat> now, what are the... Uh, it is... NLP is the next form. It's the next level of this. Okay. I don't want to speak about this, uh, Shivraj. We can discuss about NLP separately. Now, what are the different sets of information you normally deal with in your studies? When you are studying, what are the different information components that we deal with? One, we deal with a lot of numbers. <clears throat> Two, we also deal with a lot of dates. Social studies, it's all about people, events, dates. Is it not? Many, many students I have seen, they approach me asking for techniques. Dates is troublesome sometimes. <clears throat> of course, there are diagrams given in your books, right? And people expect you to remember those diagrams. How to do that? The images. Fourth, text. Someone was just asking. Right, sir, how to remember text? Big paragraph. Big page full of paragraphs. How to remember that? Events. See, these two are very similar. If there is a date, attached to it is an event, right? Date is like a container in which, in which you put an event. Clear? Now, <clears throat> last one is list. List is, there are several tables, several, you know, uh, list of items that you have to remember. Okay? List of items you have to remember. How to do that? That also I am going to teach you. Right, so this is what we will deal. Depending on how much time is available, my dear students, I will try and give you techniques for separately. <coughs> Ready? Shall we move on? Give me a yo guys, come on. Are you guys ready? Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful. Awesome guys. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to start with thank you, thank you, yo. Yep, awesome. Now let's move on to the first one. Six as well as events. All right, my dear students, be ready. I'm going to give you a task. You guys are Vedavyas, super, super awesome. Let's give that time, the 30 seconds for others. Kanchan is done. Dharmendra is done. Maha is done. Nikhil is done. Everyone done? Great. Now the point. Let's move on. Oops. All right. Here we go, guys. Listen here. Let's take a date. The date that I want to remember a date. The date is Twenty six. Our Republic Day, twenty sixth January, uh, nineteen fifty. Right, nineteen fifty. This is the date that I want to remember, the Republic Day. So now, as per the alphabet system which you just memorized, two is B, correct? Six is F, correct? One is A. 
5 is E. 0, I am putting O. Because I didn't tell you 0. So for 0, we are taking O. Clear? So now I have B, F, A, E, O for this date. All I have to do is identify simple, simple words and connect them into a visual. I will tell you how. Big fight all Englishmen out, out of India. So what did we do? There is a big fight, which is the freedom fight. <coughs> All Englishmen are out, out of India. So if I have to remember 26 January 1950, that is 50, all I have to remember is BFAEO. If how to remember BFAEO? Big fight, all Englishmen out. So whenever I want to remember the date, all I, what will come to my mind is for freedom struggle, that is Republic Day, big fight all Englishmen out is what will come. So B, I'll decode it. B is 2, F is 6, 1, 5, 0. <coughs> then comes the date. <coughs> okay, Antara, I'll give you another method or another example. All right, let's see this. Let's take one more. Uh, let's take French Revolution. French Revolution started in 1789. Correct? One is A, seven is F, eight is H. Oh, sorry, seven is G, H, I, A, G, H, I is what we need to remember. So, against government, French Revolution is against the French government, against government, historic initiative taken by the French citizens. So, against government, historic initiative. A G H I, A G H I one seven eight nine. Simple. Are you guys getting it, my dear students? It's just one simple thing. What you did, memorize the position of ten alphabets. Imagine what has happened. You would be able to remember any date. With practice, you will make more and more meaningful connections. You will be able to in the spot identify. <coughs> Keshav is saying, sir. All right. For revolt of 1857, how will I remember? Let's try that. What is there? One, eight, five, seven. So A, H, uh, E, G. Right. A historic event against the government, right? Just remember like this. A historic event against the government. Revolt of 1857. A H E G. You can. You can, Shivaraj. You can very much do that. But are you guys understanding the crux of how this technique works? That's more important. Right? It is very simple, very, very powerful. And why does this work? In Veda Vyas, I think, uh, you know, we can work this out more in WhatsApp. The reason why I am saying that is, 
if we get stuck in one technique the other techniques we would not have time okay so just since you guys are asking just i'll do one more alone see here uh, let's take our independence day 15th august 1947 so a e h d g anti english historic day for the government republic day is an anti english day because we send the englishman out and we um, i mean uh, the independence day is it not so anti english historic day for the government are you guys getting it okay so ma the point is this you are saying sir can i remember with uncommon dates normally you would be required to remember these dates right in your history you can do with any date that's not the point i am making the point that i am making is his in history in specifically when we have to remember you would be able you would be required to remember dates in history okay hirendra this is a webinar right i can give you exercises separately but here it is not you know possible right how can you it's not a two way webinar yeah great <clears throat> Guys, I think I have given enough examples. Shall I move on? So now, the second one is remembering lists, tasks, or paragraphs. Yeah. Now for this, I need to go one step beyond another task. First task you already did, memorizing the position of alphabets one to ten. Now this is task number two. You guys are ready? All of you. Yeah, right. The point is this. Perfect. I want you guys to assign a fixed object to every alphabet, the ten alphabets. A A means what object you want to assign? I want to assign apple. B I want to assign ball. A for B for like that till J. Please fix it. You have forty-five seconds time. Your time started, guys. Make it fast. Guys, we are running out of time. <sighs> quick, 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 quick! Rudra, it can be bag, bat, whatever you want to. That assign a fixed object. Ensure that you don't keep changing that object. Otherwise, it mind gets confused. Excellent, Shivraj, Kanchan, Rudra, done, done, done. Beautiful guys. <clears throat> Excellent. Done, right? Super. Now what I want you guys to do is, I want you to help me. Please uh, mention a few objects around you. Can you use whatever you see around you? Few objects. Fan. Okay. Computer. Okay. Book, okay. Air conditioner, okay. Phone, okay. Map, okay. Painting, nice. Painting. bed okay bottle okay nikhil i asked you for object you are saying sundar sir okay pen right guys i have just quickly written 10 objects now let's move on fast 
I want I'm going to make you guys visualize something and I want you guys to really really focus on what I say close your eyes and visualize what I say number one <clears throat> it is fan here your first object for a is apple close your eyes visualize an apple shaped fan apple shaped fan close your eyes visualize a red color apple shaped fan done or you can also visualize a fan generate uh, you know manufactured by the apple company whatever is comfortable for you number 2 computer for our second is b all right for b is ball close your eyes visualize a computer monitor round in the shape of a ball visualize a computer all right round shaped a ball shaped computer <coughs> close your eyes visualize a ball shaped computer b for ball right third c c is cat for me here it is a book close your eyes visualize a book of cats a book of cats it will be funny but it will be effective i'll show you how book of cats d here it is ac now it's too hot right for me d is dog visualize your you know your cute pup or dog or any dog if you don't have one going into the ac and keeping its head like this because of the heat unable to bear the summer it is going and keeping the head the dog is doing that visualize that quick five five is for me here it is phone e for elephant visualize your mobile phone ringtone as an elephant sound <laughs> yeah visualize visualize that quickly six is map f for me f f is frog visualize a map showing locations of different breeds of frogs visualize a map showing the location of different breeds of frogs up to you mukesh that's perfectly fine seven seven is g painting g for goat visualize a beautiful painting of a goat visualize a beautiful painting of a goat gun whatever you kept the object eight is bed eight is h h is horse visualize a horse a pony a cute little horse <coughs> sitting on your bed or lying on your bed done horse lying on your bed nine bottle for me nine is i ink bottle visualize an ink bottle it is very easy ink bottle i for ink bottle 10 is pen here 10 is j jackal all right visualize you drawing a jackal a line out of a jackal with your pen visualize you drawing a line out of a jackal with your pen now my dear students i'm going to close this and open it again all right so the first one is apple fan right apple shaped fan two is what ball computer shaped three is cat book of cats four is dog inside the ac five is elephant ringtone of the phone <coughs> six is frog maps seven is goat what did we say for goat my dear students painting eight horse lying on your bed nine is an ink bottle and ten is a pen you are writing with a jackal right what happened quickly we are able to do it within seconds ten things now i have just shown you ten even hundred you can do like magic all right it will be so powerful and how can you put it in your studies there are this technique is so so powerful i can take one separate session out of this alone for you one workshop for only with this technique 
<clears throat> the point is this my dear students the point is say for example right today i am teaching you five techniques first technique whatever i am teaching you can associate it with a apple second technique whatever i am teaching you can associate with b ball are you understanding what i am saying the first technique which i just uh, you know handled earlier remembering dates correct associated with apple this way you would be able to associate whatever you want to remember like this say assume that you have a page full of paragraphs text full of text for every paragraph identify a keyword i repeat if there is a page full of paragraphs identify all right a keyword similarly for every paragraph identify keywords now what you need to do is associate the first keyword with apple second paragraph keyword with ball third paragraph keyword with cat you understand what i am saying this way you would be able to remember a single a paragraph because our brain works in such a way that if you are able to remember the keyword you would be able to expand to the paragraph are you able to understand clear right great guys now uh, antara good question antara is asking sir will you not take a lot of time if you need to remember an entire page if you master this within seconds you would be able to do this but it requires practice my dear students do not expect magic to happen with practice you would be able to you know make this very very easy okay great now shall we move on next technique all right the third so this technique is called as peg system of memory peg system of memory what we just did now first memorize the portion of alphabets assign a fixed object then relate it by associating it logically or without any logic are you clear right that is why someone was asking sir i am able to remember the keyword but i am not able to remember the paragraph that is why when you are choosing keywords ensure that the keyword is really indicative of the paragraph just like that don't choose any keyword it can be one two or three words four maximum clear right <clears throat> let's move on to the next one concepts or events see more than i'm calling it a memory technique i would say this is a strategy which is which will help you remember things really well okay how to remember a concept or an event say i am learning about one event which is world war how do i remember this very carefully how much better normally what i i'll tell you what i did okay for remembering events i used i created this <coughs> uh, on my own something called as a theme card all of you all you guys know all right something called a flash card correct flash card is a pre created one which gives you a visual illustration of whatever you want to remember correct theme card is more a lot lot effective than flash card because it is created by you all right great one say the theme is world war 1 I want to learn about World War One. All right, so I am creating a theme card like this. World War One started. Which year it started? Nineteen fourteen. Which year it ended? What is the reason? Then, uh, who are the leaders? What are the countries? what were the effects of that war and so on like this what i do is i create a theme card 
summarize the concept which is you know the event which is world war with specific pointers like this then i put the answers here and paste a few visuals of world war 1 this is a team card for world war 1 you know what are you doing guys you are creating a visual all right you are converting an event into a visual are you guys understanding what i am saying right so this way your mind ac accesses its photographic memory and that's how it really works you know apart from this i what i used to do when i used to work on my like i used to tell this to all students when i was working on my you know uh, personal uh, communication in my young age what i used to do is i used to have word cards one card like this for every word i will put one word meaning of the word grammar type of the word synonym of the word antonym of the word all right example usage of the word etc in one card every day one one card i used to have this way i used to have you know 3 months i did it i had almost 90 words 90 new words and whatever word that i create in one day that word is what i use i use that word a lot that day your vocabulary will become super awesome try it okay so are you guys clear about concepts or events theme card concept how theme card works because you are making a visual out of a concept right great now let's move on now we are going to move to the next one which is how to remember tables or paragraphs i hope you guys are enjoying it is it informative my dear students hello yes excellent great 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 because i just really want to make sure that i give something which is of use to you which you can put in your studies right guys now tables or paragraphs how do i remember tables do we really re need to remember i'll show you my dear students people who have attended my earlier webinars would know this but i don't want you to say it okay please don't say it for the benefit of others there are two sentences in a story form here correct i want you to you have 30 seconds time i want you to remember these two sentences i'll close it here we go 30 seconds harry and lisa are natives of karnataka they found a ruby crystal in the beaches of mangalore and carefully gave it to a senior bangalore ranger who scanned it and said yahoo right <clears throat> correct yes when when you are done memorizing type done as always sir after this guys uh, online is asking after explaining it will you ask questions let's have an interaction in whatsapp not here we don't have time and i need to ensure that i give all these things to you guys <clears throat> interaction questioning can be done separately perfect everyone is done now you know what you just did guys my dear students by remembering these small two sentences you have remembered 15 elements of the periodic table is it not wonderful such a set, small set of understandable sentences how this is how harry h is hydrogen lisa l i is lithium natives na is sodium karnataka k is potassium ruby ruby is rubidium crystal is cesium beaches is beryllium like this till yahoo which is yttrium are you guys getting what i am saying i had a set of items elements in a table <clears throat> yeah 
what i just did was i took those elements identified words connected them into to form a story remember the video memory which i was telling right so with that video memory now i am accessing my video memory just with two sentences and i am able to remember 15 elements yeah you guys like it excellent guys excellent this is called the most famous linking technique for permanent memory yeah what i did i have a, a, a table i pick those whatever it is there identify words and connect them to form a story this connection is called association in memory terms the more powerful you are in associating creating connections you would be able to remember beautifully right 30 minutes shivraj 30 minutes in 30 minutes you will be able to remember entire periodic table if you practice this properly okay great let's move on guys <clears throat> all right i think we are we are already guys we don't have time let's move on fast numbers how to remember numbers okay you know what i have already taught you this technique is already over i'm just going to show you how uh, argya correct it was not in order i just wanted to demonstrate how this technique works it can be in order we can create another story simple okay right now coming to numbers similarly i have three short sentences very simple now it's the time for ipl <clears throat> i have something about cricket for you indians are good at cricket indians follow cricket internationally cricket is india's initial my dear students i want you to remember this you have 30 seconds time fast 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 Vedavyas, you are too good here. Super. <clears throat> others, others, come on, come on, come on. Yes, I am going to share my number. Don't worry. Once you are done, tell me you are done. You should be able to tell this exactly the way I have written here. Done? Perfect, perfect. You know what you did? You, were, you guys were asking for my phone number, right? This is my phone number. You guys just memorized my phone number. Yes. How? This is how. Indians, I is, leave the articles alone. Take the articles off. Indians, I is 9. Good. G is 7. Cricket, C is 3. <coughs> Indians, I is 9. Follow, F is 6. Cricket, C is 3. Again, 9. I, C, 3. I, 9. I, 9. So this is my number. This is my WhatsApp number, my dear students. Easy way to remember. All you guys need to do is quickly remember these three sentences. You get it. Yeah. Yes. So you can make a note of this number. We can chat and you know, you can say, give your feedback, whatever you want. You know, then we can take it forward in WhatsApp. Hirendra, please use O instead of 0, for 0. Great. This is called number position method. All right. Excellent. My dear students, this is how learning happens at Vedantu. Learning everything will be super easy, super fun. And as a student, in my, I didn't get this kind of an opportunity when I was learning. I used to long. All right. Can learning really become very easy and really enjoyable, which is very important. This is how learning happens at Vedantu. Anything that you guys learn, we will be giving you examples to connect to. We will also tell you where it is used in real life. When you learn like that, you will understand that you have the buy-in. That means you will show genuine interest. Okay. So can you make learning easy and fun? We do it Vedantu. Similarly, we read our textbooks, which is wrong. You need to live your textbook. You need to get inside the textbook, live it. It's like leading your life, living your life, live the textbooks. How can we do? Only with two things, examples, excellent examples and practical applications. 
all right and this is how we teach at vedantu all the classical master teachers of vedantu teach only this way and i am very happy to tell you guys that we have come out with one year two year and three year long courses for you complete mentorship courses taken by our master teachers and you will have exclusive mentors exclusively for of each of you you will have mentors taking care of you personal academic mentors the entire details of the course is here simple payment options are also available all right so you can take advantage of it and do inside this course on and off i will be coming in subject wise to give you different different memory techniques how to remember social studies how to remember chemistry how to remember mathematics formulas etc right so you can go through this link make a note of this link and please ensure that you join these courses and uh, do not worry about you know whatever is the amount as i said <coughs> understandable and simple payment options are available thank you nikhil thank you everyone guys i hope you really enjoyed i hope you guys really enjoyed the webinar okay please make a note of this i am looking forward to you guys joining this thank you yogendra thank you everyone if you have if you guys have any questions feel free to ping me on whatsapp i will tell you guys <coughs> i will respond whenever i am free of course kanchan sometimes the next workshop might be uh, might happen later this week you will get a information don't worry thank you daksh thank you aruna thank you everyone bye nikhil jagarla mudi nikhil bye bye <laughs> right thank you